In this question, we have an ionic compound that has the formula Be3N2. Our goal is to figure out how many ions of each element we have in one formula unit of this compound and the name of the ionic compound. So firstly, let's talk about what it means when it asks about one formula unit. So when we think about ionic compounds, so far we've been showing them in an image as a kind of structure that looks like this with these alternating positive and negative ions in a sort of lattice structure that's very regular it has a strong pattern and remember this structure goes on in all directions it's a really large structure this is just what it looks like if we zoom in on it. So when we're trying to write a formula to describe this structure, first we, we might count all of our ions. So in this little bit that I've drawn, I've got one, two, three, five, six positive ions. And if I count them, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six negative ions. But I just happen to be looking at that part that shows six of each. I could look at a really large part that has a hundred of each. To get one formula unit, we want to look at the part of the compound that shows the smallest possible numbers while still showing the correct ratio. And it has to be whole numbers. So in this case that I've shown in the image, the smallest possible part we could look at would show one positive ion and one negative ion. So we'd have one positive ion and one negative ion in one formula unit. That would be one formula unit for this structure that I've drawn. So the six and six, it's not incorrect. It tells us the right ratio, but we want to show it as one formula unit. That's the simplest possible uh, ratio that we could have for our ionic compound. So that's what it means when it asks for one formula unit. So when we're given the formula, here we're given the formula BE3N2. That is the formula of one formula unit. So all we need to do is figure out how many of each ion we have. So in one of these uh, formulas, we have the symbol first. So here we've got BE, that's the symbol for beryllium. Then we have the number of beryllium ions or atoms that are in one formula unit. So beryllium has three. Then we have the N, which is for nitrogen. Nitrogen has two. So this is really simple. We have three beryllium ions and two nitrogen ions together in one formula unit of the compound. Okay, last step is figuring out our name. So we know that we have the metal name first, followed by the non-metal. In our formula, that's the same thing. So when we're given a formula, the metal is always going to go first. So that's going to be our metal, whatever was first, here it's beryllium. Then we're going to have our non-metal, here it's nitrogen. So we don't need to check in the periodic table which one's a metal and a non-metal, because in, in an ionic compound, they'll be in the order metal and then non-metal. If you're not sure if it's an ionic compound, then you want to check the periodic table to make sure we have a metal and a non-metal, otherwise it might be a different type of compound. Okay, so the name of the metal goes first, and remember it's just the full name of the metal, so beryllium. Then we have the name of the non-metal, which is nitrogen, but we have to change the ending to ide, so it's gonna be nitride.